All right, what's going on guys? I'm actually bringing you a gameplay today, which is kind of weird, I know, but these are actually the videos that I started my channel with. I think my first around 400 or so videos were pretty much gameplay based videos. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay that much because that shit gets kind of boring and I doubt anyone really gives a fuck, but this gameplay is pretty nice. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is the most kills in Modern Warfare Remastered for TDM because I end up getting 65 kills in this one and of course there are only 75 kills total so I pretty much got all the fucking kills and I think that's the most at least I haven't seen anyone get more and also I'm talking like a real game not a game where like if I were to just go get five friends and tell them all to go hide in the back of the map and then I could just go around and get all 75 kills you know so I'm just talking like solo or whatever this is the most kills I'm pretty sure I don't know anyways to put it in perspective at least I'm sure most of you know about Scump's 70 kill TDM challenge in Black Ops 3 it ended up getting like super popular towards the end of Black Ops 3 and everyone was trying to do it well he's trying to do it again this year for Modern Warfare Remastered and the number is 52.5 which I guess is the equivalent of 70 in Black Ops 3 since the score limits are different so this is 65 when like a 70 kill challenge TDM would only be 52 basically so this is a pretty solid Solid fucking gameplay that's the point I'm trying to make here I don't think the enemy team was even that bad either to be honest well I guess they were kind of bad but they had like a team of three and they had 15 and 0 in the clan tag I noticed so I don't know if they were on like a 15 win streak or something but they better change that shit to 15 and 1 because they ran into a veteran call of duty athlete and they got an L real quick they just weren't ready for my m16 you know what I'm saying the only person who got more kills than me is Eugene on the last day of school you know what I'm saying and so anyways that's enough for the gameplay one thing i did want to actually talk about was this comment on reddit from one of the infinite warfare developers i was debating on whether or not i should make a full video on this but i really don't have that much to say so let me just throw it in here i thought it was kind of interesting and i posted it on twitter already and people thought it was funny so i just want to share it on youtube as well basically what happened was karma or optic karma from the call of duty competitive team let me just clarify so everyone knows what i'm talking about but karma posted a reddit thread kind of complaining and criticizing infinite warfare for a few of the things that kind of apply to competitive and just explaining how they are unbalanced and unfair and kind of how to fix them and stuff i'm not gonna lie it wasn't like the most professionally written post or anything but i didn't think it was that bad you know it wasn't like he came up in there and was like your game is shit fucking kill yourself never make a game again you know it wasn't nothing like that he just wrote out a couple things and explained them and how to fix it and stuff i wish i could show you the actual post itself but it got deleted so i at least have the reply of the developer and this is what he responded with stopped reading after suggesting people should be fired that's blatantly disrespectful to everyone that worked on this game if you want your post to be read or taken seriously take it seriously all right so what he's talking about is in this one section in the beginning of karma's post he made a comment about how whoever like came up with the traits and the abilities and balanced them or whatever should be fired I can't remember the exact quote but basically he just suggested that whoever came up with that needs to be fired because it was just a terrible job it wasn't really even that bad of a statement you know it was more of a joke than anything obviously the guy isn't gonna get fucking fired okay like let's be real here so keeping that in mind let us go back to his response now he apparently stopped reading at that point so he just dismissed the entire post with valid criticisms of what is wrong with the game and how to fix the game because a comment was made about how he needs to be fired because apparently that's very disrespectful, alright? Now let's just think about this for a second. How exactly is it disrespectful to suggest that someone who is bad at their job needs to be fired? Last time I checked, that's how the fucking world works, man. If you aren't good at your job you get fired and they're gonna replace you with someone who is good at the job so in this case your job is to make a video game and you didn't do a very good job so therefore you need to be fired and replaced with someone who will make a good video game so I fail to see how that's disrespectful in any way if you don't want to be disrespected don't make a piece of shit game but you know what is fucking disrespectful the fact that it's February and we 
still don't have fucking leaderboards. Like, what the hell are y'all doing over there? It's not that hard. It is not that hard to put leaderboards in a game. You're over here. You're over here talking about how you're feeling disrespected. But this game has been out for three months and you can't even include a basic feature that should have been included at launch. You had three years to work on it and it's still not enough apparently. So how exactly are you fucking feeling disrespected? I'm disrespected! You have disrespected the whole Call of Duty franchise with your shit game. You should be fired. Oh! Oh my god! You told me I should be fired! I'm gonna go fucking cry now, dude! Fuck you, man! I work so hard on this game! Your game is shit. Oh! I I'm not gonna take your post seriously! I'm not gonna take this video seriously because you're bullying me! Well, maybe you should take your fucking game seriously. Now get your soft ass off Reddit, go back into the fucking studio, I don't give a fuck if it's midnight, get your ass back in the studio, and add leaderboards to your game. It's fucking February. I don't think it's that fucking hard, man. Every other Call of Duty has done it. I don't know what your deal is, so go handle that. So anyways, that's all I needed to say about that. I'm just gonna leave you with the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully I didn't distract you from it too much talking about this, but it actually is a pretty entertaining gameplay, I think. It's basically neck and neck, super close tie game the entire way through, all the way up until the end. So I'm probably just gonna put a song on here and leave you with the rest of the video video and also real quick let me just mention this I already know half the comments about to be roasting me oh what the fuck shitty ass song is just birdman you stupid loser this song is ass y'all gotta just chill you gotta understand i can't just throw on the new j cole album or something that's copyrighted you know i can't use copyrighted songs so i just gotta put some random ass shit on here that i find that sounds decent enough i can't just put on the new fire songs you know what i mean so please refrain from the roasting i understand maybe it's not the perfect song choice all right I I'm not just picking it because I think it's the best song ever, alright? So anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.